Hey guys, this is History Behind the Warrior. Now I wanted to put out a little message before I actually started the video today. I originally planned for this episode to actually be about Reiko, but there's been a lot of things going on in my personal life, so I knew I wouldn't be able to make a video that was essentially that long. And as you guys know, I really dislike making like half-assed videos for you guys. So instead today, we're going to be talking about Serena. But don't worry, you guys are definitely going to be getting Reiko next week. I hope you guys understand and please enjoy. Now Serena is a demon who made her first ever appearance in Mortal Kombat Mythology Sub-Zero. She's one of three assassins that personally guard Quan Chi. And she's assigned the mission of assassinating Sub-Zero. Now the main reason for this was because Quan Chi had tricked Sub-Zero into getting Shinnok's amulet. With Quan Chi now having possession of the amulet, he would release the Elder God. Raiden would hear of this and order Sub-Zero to retrieve the amulet. This in turn would lead him to cross paths with Serena. Now the two would clash, but Biharm would spare her life. Realising that he's in fact more powerful than Quan Chi, she would secretly side with Sub-Zero, with the hopes that after Quan Chi's demise, she would be able to be free. Now during Sub-Zero's battle with Quan Chi, Serena would appear and assist him in the battle. Now after Quan Chi's defeat, she would apparently be killed by Shinnok but she does in fact later return in Mortal Kombat Tournament Edition. It's revealed that she wasn't in fact killed by Shinnok's attack, but rather her human form was destroyed. And due to her betrayal of Quan Chi, she was cast out to the torture chambers for years. And one day, she'd see a portal left open by Quan Chi as he was being pursued by Scorpion through the Neverrealm. Wanting to escape, she'd take this opportunity to travel through the portal, landing her in Outworld. And whilst here, she was able to regain her human form. Now call it fate or chance, but she'd bump into the younger Sub-Zero. And Sub-Zero, feeling that he owed her for helping his brother, would grant her sanctuary within the Lin Kuei. As a thank you to Kwai Lang, she would pledge her loyalty to the clan, swearing to defend it from its enemies. Now not long after this, she would follow Sub-Zero into the Neverrealm. Now during their patrol, they would come across Noob, Cybot and Smoke. The fight would break out with the two being victorious, but Serena would lose control of her human form, taking on a much more demonic appearance. Now at the time, Sub-Zero did not know that this was in fact her, and out of fear attacked her. She'd flee into Outworld to escape the attack, but she'd be ambushed by Noob Saibot, Smoke, and her former master, Quan Chi. She would then be brainwashed and corrupted by Quan Chi, being reverted back to a human form and serving under Quan Chi once more. During Mortal Kombat Armageddon's Conquest mode, she encounters Taven, who was able to defeat her and free her of Quan Chi's control once more. Now learning that the final battle was approaching, she would join the forces of light. However, much like many other people who participated in the Battle of Armageddon, she dies. Now Serena does in fact return during the new Mortal Kombat timeline, and her only appearance being in Mortal Kombat X, which in fact also confirms that everything that happened in Mortal Kombat Mythology Sub-Zero also happened in this timeline. So I guess that's a little fun fact for you guys. Now she's seen in Mortal Kombat X assisting Jax, Kenshi and the special forces to ambush Quan Chi. Now during the conflict, she battles her undead Katana and tries to convince her that she can be freed of Quan Chi's control. But unfortunately, this falls in deaf ears as Katana knocks her on the ground and nearly kills her until she is saved by Jax. Now after Quan Chi and some of his revenants escape, Serena tends to the wounded soldiers. Now Jax would travel to Quan Chi's fortress alone despite Serena warning him that he could die. But Jax reminds her that he has in fact died before. And this is sadly the last we see of Serena. Now I have to admit, I actually quite like Serena. Despite not being fleshed out too much, she certainly does have quite a nice history behind her. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I might do an update video with what's like currently going on in my life, like in a few days. But thank you guys for definitely being understanding. Definitely expect Reiko next week. Now as always guys, please comment, like, subscribe and share this video with everyone you know. Please take care and I will see you guys next time.